I'm going to teach you how to create a custom time lapse using Lightroom 5 and CS6 Premiere. And this is the original photo, so I went from this to this. And one thing that I want to mention is that this photo is uh, it's actually 5093 by 2865, which is a very big file. And uh, besides everything else that I've done, one thing that I, I done it's um, give it a a 16.9 aspect ratio which will make it easier later to create timelines so after you're done with your edit and your crop then go to the last photo you hold shift click so you select all your photos and then synchronize the settings check all synchronize I'm not gonna do it because I already did after this go into your library and export the sequence now in here you can uh, choose a folder destination and put your uh, sequence into a subfolder which I done then you can custom name sequentially the photos which will start with one and end with 129 I'm gonna save the photos JPEG but you can uh, save it as anything else sRGB quality 100 and then I'm gonna resize the photos at 4k which is 4096 by 2304 and I'm going to put the resolution as 72 dpi because you do not need more than that for video now make sure that your file it's big enough to create this resolution and basically that's it and then you'll hit export which I'm not going to do because I already did I'm going to go in the folder that I created 4k and uh, here's my photos going from number one to 129 and if you right click on the photo get the info you will see that the resolution of this file is 4k basically now i'm going to close out of here and i'm going to go into premiere okay now create a new project and choose your destination folder in here you want to pick red camera 4k and we're going to choose 30 frames per second at the same resolution that we have we're going to go into settings we're going to make this custom 30 frames everything else is all right we're going to change this to 1280 this is the preview so we're going to call this 4k 30p is okay now remember whatever this timeline that you create in the beginning is your video is going to come in at this frame rate which is 30 frames per second now if you create this at 24 frames per second or 25 it's going to come in at 24 or 25 frames per second right click import you're going to go into the 4k folder click on the first photo image sequence and import and now we imported the uh, sequence into a video that's at 30 frames per second at 4k resolution just like our timeline as you can see now we have this at 30 frames per second equal 4.9 seconds so this is a bit short but uh, it's a full resolution 4k so the way we uh, we can make this a little bit longer is by creating a new timeline and now we're going to make it 24 frames per second go to settings now we're going to rename this all right, so now we have a 24 frame per second timeline. We're gonna take our video and we're gonna put it into this timeline. We're gonna keep the settings. We have the same resolution, but different frame rate. And we can see that this hasn't changed at all. So this basically will be the same thing as exporting this out. And you can export this at any kind of resolution because it's a 4K. So you can do it at 1280 or 1080 or 4K at 30 frames. If you do this at 24 frames, this will not get any longer. It will be just like this, which equals exactly to the same is here. So there is no difference. So now the way we change that, we get rid of this. We duplicate this video and we rename it so we know what it is. Okay, but this is still at 30 frames. So the way we change that is by right click modify and then in here we can change the frame rates we basically tell it to reorder your frames to put 24 frames in every second and now you can see that the time it's 5.9 so now we put this in here so okay this is a little bit longer but it's not you know ideal now we can change the length of this to make it last a little bit longer and the way we're gonna do that is uh we're gonna get rid of this we're gonna take the 30 frame per second video right click modify dot we're gonna assign 15 frame per second and now our timeline is gonna be 8.17 now we click ok and you can see here it also changed so now we can take this and put this here and we can see now that this it's a little bit longer it's gonna play a little bit slower but that's all right so from here you can export this out at uh, any resolution like I say just make sure you keep the same frame rate and now we can do something else we can animate this time lapse because it's such a huge resolution we're gonna create another sequence and this time we're gonna make it HDV at 720p so base 720 we go to settings we're gonna go 30 frames everything else it's okay so we're gonna call this 1280 by 620 at 30p and the way I'm gonna do that 
change the resolution here so we're gonna have a custom timeline and we're gonna put this video at 30 frames this is humongous so the way we change that we click on it go to effects motion and we're gonna zoom out you can see you have a lot of room to play maybe I'll zoom in a bit okay so we're gonna end up over here I'm gonna go to the end and we're gonna create some keyframes, position and scale. I'm gonna go to the beginning. And now we're gonna zoom in a bit. Not so much, you know. And then we're gonna come down with it. So now we're gonna export this out. Export media, it's quick time, but I don't like quick time. H264, and we're gonna choose from here 720p to begin with. All right, and then I'm going to change this to 4.1. All right, so this is how it works. Now, if you want to export it like this, you can keep this black frames, which is fine. If you wanted to have it without it, which looks cool like that, you can make this. So you basically uncheck this chain, and then you change this to 620. Now you have a full screen. And then the frame rates, 30. We also scan on NTC. If you use the 25 frames, you use this setting for Europe. Main 4.1, everything is good. Render and maximum depth, you will go here and then use maximum render quality. And then this is 6 megabytes, so we can bump this up a bit and make it. The more bit rate, the more quality, but also the more size. So the less, the more compression, less quality. But you can find a common ground. Then you'll export. Okay, make sure you pick an export destination, which is on the desktop, and you'll export the file. So now that we have our video rendered, you can see that you can create with this anything you want, and you control absolutely everything from quality to resolution, and um, it's amazing. I uh, like it a lot. And this one also, this is at, uh, you know, at 30 frames, same thing, playing at 15 frames actually. But it's still pretty smooth. It looks very nice. You can uh, always come back and do whatever you want. You can render this out at 24 frames. You can render this out, which is at the full resolution at 4K. But always make sure that you keep the same frame rate. That's all you have to know. And that's why you change this over here. You always change the frame rates if you're going to use a different timeline, except when you want to play this at a slower speed. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something.